Hello, I'm Alona Lapari, and I help entrepreneurs start or scale their business. Today, I want to speak about practical steps when you are first launching your coaching business. So uh, getting started in the coaching business space uh, tends to be very confusing for a lot of people at the beginning. Um, there's a lot of advice, there's a lot of information out there, there's a lot of other coaches uh, that give um, different advices, marketing coaches, business coaches, um, all sorts of things. So it can be very, very confusing at the beginning. So I wanted to lay down some of the practical steps for you when you are first launching your coaching business. So the first step to get started is to make it official. You want to choose a business name um, and you want to choose something that will actually represent you down the line. So I know that this for some a lot of people takes a lot of time, but I personally recommend that you actually just choose your name. Coaching is a service business, so people will identify with you and your brand. So if you choose your name, then you are not you don't need to limit yourself down the line when you will be changing or adding on to your services. Um, I have the same thing for my business, so um, I would recommend using your name. So that would be the first step, uh, pick a name. Uh, the next step is to register with your state uh, government and filing for, uh, for yourself as a business. So this is actually a very simple step you can just Google search your um, state department and then you can file for your business. You would just maybe need to consult with an accountant or someone before on what type of uh, business you want to file. Will it be a LLC, a corporation, um, all those different options. So you can, um, you can get that um, information, like I said, advice with an accountant and you can just file right away. Right after you file, it takes not even a few minutes, then you get your EIN number. So that would be your specific business number. So after you get your EIN number, then the next step is to open up your bank account. So you wanna ensure that you're opening up your bank account uh, because that will be your business, um, all your uh, information, your sales, your expenses regarding your business should be going into your business account separate from your um, your personal um, accounts. Um, so then um, in order to track your expenses and how your business is doing at the beginning, I would recommend just using simple QuickBooks platform. Um, it's very easy to use and it's also um, not very expensive to use the platform monthly fee, as far as a monthly fee. So at the beginning of your journey, I would absolutely recommend you tracking your business expenses and your numbers through QuickBooks. And I will be linking the website underneath this video as well. So um, next step is to get a basic website. Um, so the first thing, and once you know your business name, you want to ensure that you are looking up for the domain uh, name uh, to ensure that you have that. Uh, my recommendation for a website, which is very simple, I recommend the beginning for you to have a very simple website, um, copy and paste sort of um, uh, website where you can um, start off with. So something that I would recommend is Wix. It's a very good platform and it has very simple copy and paste in, um, um, templates. Uh, for the website and you can technically build a website in just one day. And then the last step is to just be excited and launch your new business to your friends and family. So you can find other methods to do that, social media, um, just personally calling your friends and family or your network and introducing your new business to your friends and family. I hope you found this video um, helpful and I would uh, recommend and ask for that you guys uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can find more helpful information such as this regarding the start or the growth of your business.